Cowpea, locally known as beans, is an important source of plant protein, largely consumed and cultivated by smallholder farmers, of which the yield is below two tons per acre of a land due to insect pest infestation on most farmers' fields in northern Ghana. The flowering stages of the plant are attacked by Maroka Victracta, which causes about 80% of yield losses as well force farmers to use a lot of harmful chemicals. The introduction of Paul Barra resistant cowpea project in Ghana is geared at reducing the insect pest infestation as well increase the use of farmers. In an interview with the principal investigator of the cowpea project in Ghana, Dr. Jerry, during a field visit by 30 media practitioners with Alliance for Science, an open forum on agricultural biotechnology revealed that Ghana is ready to adopt and release its first genetically modified crop. In terms of the human resource capacity of Ghana, we are more than ready. If you go to the, I think there is almost no university faculty that they don't teach biotechnology. So that means that before you can establish such a course, you have the human resources to teach that particular course. And you are also training even more younger people in that particular area. So human resource-wise, Ghana is more than ready to handle any genetically modified crop. Um, in the area of the BT, um, we are still going through the regulatory processes. We are looking at starting our multi-locational trials this year. So once we get that done and we work with farmers and we still have um, very promising results, we'll get to the varietal release stage and um, hopefully within the next um, two years or so, it should be in the hands of farmers for them to cultivate. He further expressed worry about the import of grains from neighboring countries, especially when Nigeria has approved production of BT copy. Once you have the grains coming in from other countries, what it means is that our, um, our farmers are going to remain poor because if a farmer can cultivate a whole acre of um, cowpea and get only two bags, he takes it to the market. Another farmer from Nigeria cultivate the same acre, then he gets maybe 20 bags. When that farmer is selling, he will sell at probably a reduced price. So when it gets into the country, People will obviously go for the one that is um, relatively cheaper compared to the farmer who produces at a high cost, who may want to recoup part of his investment in the farm. So it's a, a worry. The other side of it is that we spend a lot of, once you are bringing in from a neighboring country, that means there's going to be a drain on our foreign exchange reserve. And that is not something that any patriotic Ghanaian should actually be um, interested in seeing. We should rather be interested in rather getting our products out but not bringing um, other people's own in and weakening our currency. So definitely it is, it is worrying. A copy farmer, Idrisu, appealed to government for any adoption of the crop. From Tamale, Noanash, for GH1 News.